welcome back to Sharon with Serena. I'm so sorry for not uploading for so long. Coping with fibromyalgia and working can be challenging sometimes, but I am making an effort. Today, I want to share my additional channels, technology, seniors, and Serena. I am a young senior. And our new spring chicken should stay updated with many new technologies. It keep all my going, and it is never too late to learn. While setting up this account, I encountered several problems, and I would like to share it with you. If you want to use OBS and lab mic, most YouTubers use a condensed mic like this one. I don't blame them because the sound is superior and the they have a wide range of frequency. But the love is the best selection for someone who would like to move about. You practically can go anywhere and the sounds do pretty good. I have a Kamapa Boom XU wireless mic. It has one receiver and two transmitters. Connect the receiver to your computer and use the transmitter as a lavalier microphone. You don't need an additional program. Your desktop should be able to recognize it. However, the Comica kit had two types of audio cables. One audio cable is to be connected to the camera and the other can connect to the cell phone. I use the camera's audio cable, which is called TR. S. It has two black rings, plus my computer's O. You may need the TRRS with three black rings if you have a newer computer. This method of connecting is called analog. It uses a direct frequency from the desktop computer to the microphone. One of the TRS audio cables will go to the receiver and the other will go to the back of your computer audio input. What does it look like? It is a pinkish or lavenderish hole. If your mic have an antenna, please put both of them up to a 90 degree. This way you can be far away and your voice will still sound very clear. Now turn on your receiver and you must adjust the sound level accordingly. Then go to your sound setting on the desktop computer, the sound icon at the bottom right of your screen. Right click on the icon and you will see the sound setting. Click on it. The screen should open. Scroll down to input. Find the microphone icon. We should uh, highlight the correct microphone. I only have one mic to make my life easier. It is Realtex R Audio. The sound volume should move when your setup is accurate. That is the first section of the tutorial. If you like my explanation so far, please subscribe. For the second tutorial, I have to thank Peter Place. I link his video in my YouTube description. He did this. Uh, video in 2022 and it's still relevant. If you watch uh, his tutorial, 
He explained how to get rid of two photos from OBS Studio and you will get this soundbar again. But I didn't understand why. It was straightforward. I had used OBS Studio before and the folders still had my previous settings, which would interfere with the new setting as soon as I deleted the two folders and relaunched them. My sound from OBS reappears again. Thank you, Peter Play. Let's return to my channel, Technology Seniors and Serena. The first tutorial is about a mouse. No, it's not a physical mouse, but a computer mouse. When I first learned to use a computer, and I had to raise my hand and ask a question. Everybody in the class was laughing because they were much younger than me. Learning technology, um, when you're much older, you have to laugh when you make a mistake, reducing your stress, putting you in a good mood, and giving you the confidence to move past it. So I hope you will learn different technology with me at Technology Seniors and Serena. Please subscribe to that channel too if you want to learn with me. We will learn from desktop computer and to laptop or cell phones. I will vlog each week, not only to teach you technology, but also talk about learning and um, teaching adults. These students are sort of ones that drive my ambition to move forward with my new channel. Uh, thank you to them and thank you to you. See you next time.